Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here. Just a quick review of a 20 watt trickle charger. It's supposed to be for a yacht, car, all that good stuff. So I wanted to try it with a Jackery 240 and a Jackery 160. Uh, pretty self-explanatory as you can see in the video. It's, it's kind of flexible too as you can see as I bend it. Um, I had the adapter. I'll leave a link in the description for the adapter and the solar panel. And the thing about this solar panel is I bought it because it was smaller. I know it would not have the wattage, solar wattage of like a larger one. But I wanted to test it out and see how well it would work in regards to charging a jackery or at least keeping a little bit of charge in it during the day and stuff uh, without running the car, say, when I'm out for an extended uh, amount of time. My jackery 240 runs my refrigerator, which is never in freezer mode. And it's my refrigerator pretty much sips energy so it can last over a day on the 240 um, but with the trickle charger um, hopefully I could get more juice out of without having to use my gas so with that being said um, I went ahead and spliced in the so uh, the Jackery adapter plug-in that goes to um, that I've used with the other uh, solar panel that I showed you on here that would charge it a little bit but did not register on the readout to tell me how much wattage it was pulling in from the sun. So I wanted to see if this one would do it. It wasn't that much, um, but I just want to try it out. You know, I like to try and do different things and see if maybe I can save some money or just, you know, learn a little bit. As you can see, as I splice the wires and everything together, I would clean it up later, but for the initial testing, it wouldn't make sense to make it look all nice and fancy if I was going to yank it back apart or the solar panel didn't work. So I want to do it pretty quickly, get it done. And also on the back of that solar panel, there is a USB input charger in the back of it. So you can actually plug your phone directly into that little solar panel that's supposed to be 20 watts. So I wanted to see if this would work. So as you can see, um, it's, it's plastic, flexible, fairly flexible. It's not glass. It's not a glass front on it. Um, there's our adapter. We set it out in the sun. And so I set it out in the sun, and that day, I live in Denver, Colorado area, the Mile High City. Uh, tons of sunshine, no cloud in the sky. The sun is directly overhead. The max I was able to pull out of this quote-unquote 20-watt solar panel was 4 watts. But on average, what I really got out of it was 3 to four watts and really it was three watts don't pay attention to the two watt i had just sat it down but that's what i was usually getting was three watts now what you didn't see right there that was at probably about 97 percent in about 10 minutes or so i'd guesstimate it went from 97 to 100 percent so it did work in regards to um, charging both the jackery 240 and the jackery 160 Here's the difference with the Jackery 160, though. The Jackery 160 would not reg register the wattage coming in from the solar panel. The Jackery 240 would register that it was pulling in between uh, 2 and 4 watts, on average 3 watts, with not a cloud in the sky. So will I keep using this? And Yeah, I paid for it. I can use it for a ton, ton of things. Um, you know, my USBs. Uh, stuff like my phone and all that, but I can also use this in a bind to charge my 240 and my 160 and get a little juice in them, especially if my 160 if I've been using it and get, get some juice in it without running the car need be. So for me, um, it, it'll work for what I need it for right now. Would I recommend it for you for fully using for your Jackery if you're using it real heavily? No, I would not. Go a little bit higher because these, these type of uh, solar panels say they're 20 watts when really they're not 20 watts. If it says 20 watts, it's 3 to 4 watts. So I don't know. I might check out a 40 watt or something like that. I've seen a couple. I might test because I'm curious. If it can pull 20 watts, I'd be happy with it. 20 watts, I would be done. 20 watts would be plenty for me to use with the Jackery's to charge it. So anyway, I hope this helps you. And if you watch this video, you'll see that it goes from, I believe that's the 160. The 160 goes from 98% to 100%. So it did charge it, everyone. And then it cuts off. So with the Jackery's, they cut off once they hit 100% and they don't take any more charge. So I'm not worried about damaging it or anything. Anyway. This is Frugal Panda. 
I just thought I'd do a little video for you. I hope everyone's having a good day and I hope this helps some people out there. I'll leave a description for the Jackery adapter, which also works with Gold Zero. And I'll leave a, um, a link, excuse me, for the 20, supposed 20 watt solar panel, which did not pull, draw 20 watts in. You may want to use it with your Jackery. You may want to use it as a trickle charger for your phone, or excuse me, for your car battery, or you may want to use it for your car battery, your yacht, because that's what it says it's good for. But 20 watts, uh, don't believe the hype, everyone. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda, and I really hope everyone's having a good day, and I hope this helped you guys out in regards to this. You can pay the 200 bucks and get the Jack Rear, the Gold Zero version of the solar panel. Or you can try and save some money and get this. Whatever you prefer. Um, I'll hold this for now. I, like I said, I can use it for other things. But I'm a, I'm, I might go ahead and snatch like a 30 or 40 watt and see if I can at least get 20 watts. 20 watts would be heaven for me. Anyone, anyway, everyone, have a great day. And this is Frugal Panda out. One last thing, I'll leave uh, in the description links in Amazon for the other products that I also use with regards to my van. I'll leave a link for the set power refrigerator that I use. It's a refrigerator freezer combo. I really like it. Uh, it's worked really well. It's not too big. It doesn't draw a lot of power and it fits my needs. And it's in my last few vacations probably paid for itself because it works so well. Um, and saves me money and having to buy food and all that good stuff. All right, everyone.